Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. Also guys, make sure to join our private exclusive Discord server for real-time stock picks to trade with me and thousands of other investors live. We talk AMC, we trade options, and much, much more. So go to the first link in my description and join our private exclusive Discord server. All right, guys, it's just in. We have some absolute whale purchases of AMC as of yesterday. But zooming out a little bit so far with AMC, we have 535 total institutional owners. 457 of them are long only. 40 of them are short only and 38 of them are long and or short. So keep in mind, a lot of times when we think of the institutions, those that are involved in AMC, we think of the short only institutions. But the reality of it is, is there's 535 total, 457 of them are long only. So basically, overall, there's a lot more institutional owners that believe in AMC long term or, or at least see that it's worth buying the stock compared to the only 40 of them that are short AMC only. Altogether, the institutional share long value is 138 plus million, or about 26% of the float. But zooming down through the 13 F filings, this is on fintel.io if you guys want to take a look at it yourself, we have some new purchases. We have first off Kineski Asset Management with a purchase of 3,822 shares, valued at around $145,000. So decent purchase there, that's a pretty big purchase honestly. But the big one, the real big one is First Trust Advisors LP, 617,497 shares of AMC, valued at around $35 million. So for whatever reason, First Trust Advisors LP decided to drop a bag, $35 million worth of AMC, even with AMC not being at the cheapest price it's been at. They are buying AMC for a reason. Now, I don't know the exact reason, it could be for a few different things. It could be because simply they agree with the retail investor side of things, as well as other institutions that are long. They agree that this thing has the potential to go to the moon, or maybe they're buying AMC to hedge the rest of their portfolio. AMC being a negative beta stock, it likely will move upwards if the rest of the market trades down and there's a good chance that we go through a downturn sometime soon here. It's just my opinion. But scrolling down here, we see other institutions buying a lot of AMC. Just a few weeks back, we saw Morningstar Small Cap Value Fund buy 119,000 shares of AMC. We have tons and tons of funds that have been buying AMC over the last few months, and most of them are still holding. We really haven't seen that many of them sell any of their shares. So again, what I'm mostly fascinated by is why are these institutions buying so much AMC? What do they see in it? Do they agree with the retail investors, or is it something else that we might be missing? But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.